been affected. So we all have dreams, right? Everybody have dreams? For those of you who don't have a dream, come see me afterwards and I'll help you find it. Now here's the next question. Now it starts to get a little serious. How many of you have goals? And you don't have to raise your hand. I saw some of them shoot up very quickly. And it's usually the people who shoot up very quickly. Those are the people that have the goals. Because they know they're right here, right? I know what my goals are. I can, Mike, I own it. I claim it. You see, goals are very different than dreams. Dreams are emotion-based. Dreams are things we'd like to do, things we want to do, things we hope to do, if, when, someday, somehow, things align, but we never act on it. You see, what's different from a dream and a goal is a goal is actually a dream with a deadline. A goal is something that you've committed to. A goal starts to become real, and that's when you break out of that comfort zone. And that's why you start digging and moving to the next level in your life. So my first question was, how many of you have dreams? And everybody raises their hand. And then I ask, how many of you have goals? And not as many hands go up. And that's okay. But here's the third question. And I don't want anybody to raise their hand. I want you to think about this. How many of you are actively pursuing your goals? And that's where we get the, mm, 